Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a special guest from the YouTube channel Weird Adventures and she's a full-time minivan camper and what she wants to do is show us a little bit of how she set her camper up as well as tell us a little bit about her adventures over the last two or three years that she's been on the road. Hi, I'm Weird Adventures and this is my 2017 Chrysler Pacifica that I live out of full-time with my dog Weird. Back about 2019, I was starting to think about retirement and uh, I was also planning on on leaving my husband. So I had to come up with a situation where I would be able to live off my retirement income. I happened across the movie Nomadland and after watching that light bulbs were turning on. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want because I love to travel. I've traveled across the United States more than six times. I've lived in seven different states and so I thought that would be perfect for me. I started watching Bob Wells and following other people on YouTube, taking notes, seeing how they had their uh, vehicles built out. At the time, I was going to go with my Cadillac Escalade, but the engine was giving out and so I needed to get a different vehicle for, for safety reasons and so I happened to cross this. And with my retirement funds, I was able to purchase this with cash so it's owned free and clear. I don't have to worry about it. I spent almost 30 years as an RN and um, the last 15 I was a nurse educator at a community college in Indiana and so that is what I uh, retired from. I left my home June 3rd of 2022, got my vehicle shortly thereafter, spent a little time with my daughter uh, at what I now call my base camp in Michigan. And then July 5th of 2022, I hit the road and have been living on the road, stopping and visiting friends and family along the way. Let me give you a sneak peek of how I kind of have things set up. I'll start at the front. This is kind of my catch-all. These are some things that I kind of use on a daily basis. I have some things in the front seat that I can grab when I need while I'm driving. I have uh, leftover dog food that won't fit in her container up here, dirty clothes bag, and a box full of things for the dog, vacuum cleaner, my excess water that I carry, and of course, her tennis balls. I had uh, spent last winter in Arizona for the most part and was kind of needing some more space and uh, I g did get the cargo box, which allowed for my emergency equipment, my chair, tent, and things to go up there. Gave me a little bit more space, but I still felt kind of cramped. So as I was going back to Michigan in the spring, I was debating in my mind, do I want to upgrade to another van? Do I want a bigger van? Do I want to stay with what I got? And um, I decided to stay with what I've got. I range between 24 and 30 miles per gallon, and I don't want to give up that gas mileage. So what I did when I got back to base camp was I pulled out all of my seats. So all of my stow and go seats are gone. I built little frames in the um, wells where they sat. And then I put on three quarter inch ply and put tiles on top of them. What I ended up doing to access the storage underneath, now I must apologize, I'm constantly cleaning. I have a shepherd, she sheds all the time and I just vacuumed, so if you see dog hair, I apologize. This is where my clothes are stored, but I have a hatch in the floor, and that's how I access my lights. This particular hatch is my junk drawer. I've got another one on the other side that I can access under the bed, and it carries all of my winter clothes. I have a little rack here between the bed and where I store my clothes, and it's things that I use every day. It has my Jackery on it so that I can charge at night when I'm in bed, my phone, her tracker collar. It's got the charging cables. I have a little treat container for her. I've got my toothbrush brush, toothpaste, uh, my pills right there, and then the bottom is for bathroom supplies. One of the things that uh, a friend of mine, Zora, introduced me to is these little poo gels. You can use it in the bag to um, solidify poo or pee, and so that way it's easier to dispose of. If you can't pour the pee on the ground, you need to get, it, get rid of it in the trash can. It, this kind of solidifies it and then you can dispose of it like you would a baby diaper in the trash can. I uh, Normally, uh, if I'm in the van, I'm hanging out here. From here, I can reach just about anything that I need. I can get into my Alpacool cooler. I can get into some of the foodstuffs that I have. At night, when I park, because I don't use levelers, um, I have a little um, level on my phone, and I will turn it on and lay it on the bed to find out if the bed is level. And then that way I know which, which direction to put my head. So I can sleep with my head up here or down here. 
Normally, if I'm just hanging out, say it's a rainy day, the dog and I will hang out in the car and I will have all of my stuff stacked right here and I will sit with my back here, supported by my front seat, and I can, you know, look at my YouTube videos or, or uh, play on my tablet or read a book or just about anything. So this big blue um, cushion is uh, the dog's bed and I just put a bungee on it to keep it up out of the floor and out of the way during the day. I have a container for all of my charging cables, a nice little basket for some books and some um, just miscellaneous stuff. I also have another one over here on this side. Um, I can access my cooler um, and when we travel, the dog usually lays on the bed right behind me and watches out the window. Sometimes she'll hang her head out the, out the window and, and smell the air. But uh, at night, I get the bed and she gets all of this area in the floor here. So back here in the back is the main kitchen area, plus a few extra little things. I put my towel up here to get dry when I take a shower. I have my WeatherTech things for my windows. This is my Alpacool that I can access from the inside or the outside. My two blue eddies right here, one that powers the fridge and the backup. One of them is always charged and ready to go. I've been working off of this one for a couple of days and what I'm doing when I travel is I actually plug it into the 12 volt outlet in the car so I just keep recharging it so this is my backup. I have her dog food here, power cables for my blue eddy and my Jackery. And then the cubby hole on the side here has cleaning supplies, whisk broom, wipes, those types of things. So when I'm in a camp area, I take my table out and I set it up. And I have my cook stove porta potty goes in the uh, pop-up tent when I'm camping. I've got my fruits in a bag, bag for bags. I usually use a grocery bag every single day for my garbage. And here are my kitchen things, and I've got little plastic bins for various things. Mostly got my coffee stuff in it. For the lack of a better term, I call it a baker's rack. Each rack has two little plastic bins of things, and then also has a basket on top of the little bins. I have a hatch under here that I can access my food, or I can also go in the side there. I do have screens that I put over my front two windows, but I they don't make screens for slider doors. So I have these that I put up and I use magnets to attach them to the door. And I have the window down so we get good airflow while we're parked. <laughs> I built this platform to put the Alpacool fridge on so that I could store my Blue Eddy underneath. And one night I was laying in bed and I was like, I have about this much room from the cooler to the back of the, to, of the van. Let me see if it'll fit the other way. So I've switched it around, closed the gate. It closed, it locked. I'm like, okay, we're moving you. So that gave me an opportunity to put the dog food here. And with it being this way, now I can open it from the inside and the outside. So if I'm parked someplace and I want to get something out, I can just open it and get it. On this side, I have my Jackery solar panel, my Blue Eddy solar panel, and my camp table. Excuse the dog hair, I just vacuumed. And it's already everywhere. And the wind doesn't help. I can access my storage containers from this side as well. So here's the hatch under the bed for the winter clothes. And as you see, I, it opens a different way because I knew I, I would have to open it from this side. So instead of lifting it like the other one on the other side, it opens from the side. So I put my winter clothes in travel bags, get all the air out, and then just shove them in there and, and they're out of the way. I do carry my laptop with me, but I have uh, really no place to put it that it's not in the way, so it stays right here. The solar panels used to be in the back, but I moved them up here because I was afraid with constantly moving them to get to the kitchen stuff that they would end up getting broke. Everything has its own individual spot, and it just closes up just like that. So every time I stop 
to let the dog go to the bathroom like at a rest area. If I have any trash, I always gather it up and throw it in the trash can that's available because I hate trash accumulation. It just drives me nuts. I have to take the trash out several times a day. <laughs> a so my first you. question is you've been on the road for a little over a year now. What's been the best or most rewarding experience that you've had while traveling? Oh, wow. Being able to keep my own time schedule, not having to answer to anybody. If I want to stop, I can stop, spend time looking at stuff for as long as I want. And you know, if I decide, well, I'm done for today, I just want to stop and, and camp, then you know, I have the ability to do that. So as someone who travels full time with your dog, have you had any challenges with that? Um, a little bit, because some of the places that I would like to go uh, in the national parks, don't allow dogs. There's a few trails we've been able to get on, but uh, for the most part, you know, if she can't go, then I don't go. Or if I can park close enough, I'll leave her in the car with the windows cracked, and I have three USB fans that I can mount throughout the, the car to help circulate the air. Plus I have a little device called a waggle that I can uh, see on my phone what the temperature is in the van. If I go to Planet Fitness to shower, I usually go first thing in the morning. Usually not in there more than a half an hour. If I go grocery shopping, um, it's probably 95% of the time it's a order and pick up. Unless I'm in a small town where there is no Walmart or Myers, so then I'll have to uh, shop early in the morning and, and uh, go in and pick it up myself. Have you ever been to a place where you had a hard time finding camping or a parking spot that you could camp in overnight? No, no. So far I've never had that problem. I've always either had dispersed camping, uh, camped in a campground. If I'm on the road and I'm trying to get to a, a place and I don't want to take the time to look for dispersed camping, I'll usually just go to a Love's Truck Stop. I like them. You've, it's well lit. It's, to me, it's safe. You've got the bathrooms, you've got food, and they have dog parks. So I can take her off leash and let her run. Have you ever been camping anywhere, one of those truck stops or anything, and they've asked you to move along? No, no. Usually when I go to Love's, what I do is the first thing I, I will fill my tank, wash my windows, go inside to the restroom. I usually purchase a drink and then as I'm checking out I will ask them, do you allow overnight parking? I've never had them say no and then I just ask them where in your lot do you prefer me to park? And they usually say just far enough away from the building, you know. But everybody's been very friendly and very accommodating. Do you ever get lonely while traveling solo with your pup? Lonely? No. I have so many people that I follow on YouTube. I try to keep up with their videos. A lot of them do a uh, live uh, feed. So I try to be present for their live videos. I have um, family and friends that I text or call. So I'm usually pretty busy. I also have a book going on my um, tablet and also a paper book that I'm reading so I don't have time to be lonely. I enjoy being alone. 